Hey guys, and welcome back to Espresso News, where we take a quick look at big gaming news during the week. And well, <laughs> it's been a big week since Summer Game Fest kicked off. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know down below, and let me know if it kept you in the loop. Starting us out, we have a big name show up, and it's called Elden Rings. It's the newest creation by From Software Games. They're the creators of the Soulsborne games, and most recently Sekiro. Elden Ring looks like a wild game, and after pairing up with the Games of Thrones author George R.R. R. Martin, I mean, it just sounds impressive. Uh, if you've seen any of the trailers, it looks like it's as if Dark Souls and Shadow of Colossus had a love child. And also, in those trailers, uh, the player summons a horse out of magic, and they ride across the land with it. Uh, gives me the impression that it's going to be kind of a sandboxy game, and probably the most sandboxy game they've ever made. Kind of make pseudo sandboxy games. So I'm looking out for it, you know, it's probably a game I'm gonna get. Uh, in the trailer there was your staple, big bossy enemies, uh, but it looks like they just roam the world. It's impossible to look at it and say it doesn't look like Dark Souls 4 and, you know, you tell me if you think that's a good or a bad thing. But either way, we're really hyped for this game. And me, especially. <laughs> Up next, the Borderlands spin-off game we were hearing about turned out to be true, and it looks to be based on the Borderlands 2 DLC, going by the name Tiny Tina's Wonderland. It's got dragons, magic, Tiny Tina, and best of all, Butt Stallion has made a comeback. Not a whole lot to go off of, but maybe we'll see some new gameplay features with the magic we saw. Only time will tell. Another reveal that got people excited is the Among Us devs released a roadmap trailer of some added content that they're working on, and new features which will include new maps, new roles like the Sheriff and Scientist, and even some new game modes. It's wild to see an indie game that came out in 2018 getting some love in fucking three years later. Uh, yeah, I just had to check the calendar for that. Sue me. <laughs> Wrapping us up, I'm going to mention Monster Hunter Stories 2 trailer dropped and will be exclusive on the Switch as expected. Back for Blood released a trailer, and if you love Left 4 Dead, this is made by some of the creators of that, so check it out. It's essentially the spiritual successor to the game. And lastly, the cult classic horror movie Evil Dead released a gameplay trailer showing off what you'll be doing in-game. Almost reminds me of Dead by Daylight, really. But there you have it guys, some thoughts on the newest games to be announced, and we hope to see you guys during E3 around the corner. Again, let me know if you enjoyed getting a fast rundown on some game news down below. And if you're not subscribed, now's the time to do so, we'd love to have you in the community. Alright, see ya!